I usually start explaining that the Embedded Systems elective is the worst of both worlds. You need to know a bit of computer programming, and you need to know a bit of electronics. A look online for what an embedded system is shows us quite technical information for what should be the basic definition. Wikipedia gives us a fair description. A computer system with dedicated functionality in the mechanical or electronic system. So, an embedded system is an embedded computer system. But then, what is a computer? Going back online, we get pretty good explanations about what a computer is. Wikipedia gives us a very technical description of what computers are, including mechanical computers, but we are interested in electronic digital computers. Computers in essence take in information as inputs, process them, and spit them out as outputs. When you head off to computer engineering, you'll be told of the two main computer architectures, but this is not the place to discuss Hardvard versus von Neumann architectures. So, our working definition of embedded systems is putting a computing element in something that does not look like a computer. This does not mean you just duct tape a computer onto anything and call it a day. The computer must control the thing. When it comes to automating something with electronics, there are many options to choose from. The digital solutions where you work with electronics that like one and zeros, the analog solutions where you work with more physics-based stuff, and a hybrid combination of both. Digital electronics can either not care about the timing of inputs, or make them dependent on the current state of the inputs as well as the state of the system. When you try to apply these in a computing situation, we get FPGAs, microprocessors, op amps, and DSPs. If you take a microprocessor, add to it other elements, and fit it into a low-cost chip or board, you get a microcontroller, which is what most embedded systems use. The most common misconception is that embedded systems is purely about robotics. Embedded systems are much, much larger than robotics. In fact, you've used or been in an embedded system. Most modern cars use an engine control unit to optimize fuel efficiency. Traffic lights were an early mass use of embedded systems. Automated ticketing barriers contain low-end computers that dispense tickets and raise barriers, closing them when you've passed them. Even stores have loads of embedded systems if you look hard enough, from the security barriers to the advertising displays. Arcade machines are probably the most entertaining embedded system developed, with the gameplay and attraction elements controlled by the computer inside whether these are purely display or mechanical elements. Automated teller machines are computers that dispense money. Even most of your computer peripherals are themselves embedded systems. In a supermarket, price check stations and cash registers are computers dedicated to scan barcodes and display prices stored on a network computer server. Closer to home, most of your appliances are probably, but not always, embedded systems. You can say that embedded systems make life easier for us. But does everything have to be smart stuff? Some embedded systems are in things intended to be disposable and have led to the often repeated memes on the internet such as, Will it run Doom? Or the statement, my light bulb has a firmware update. Embedded systems have given so much automation to the world that we need to ask ourselves sometimes, have we gone too far? That depends on what you'll make.